If you're looking to get into video editing and you're not really the expert yet, professional software like Adobe Premiere Pro may not be your best bet. But here's a piece of software that almost anyone can use to get a professional result. This is Leo from Fall Critic and today I'll be reviewing Movavi Video Suite. Movavi Video Suite comes with a 142 install package and once it's done you're going to see their wonderful user interface. Now once again this is an example of a UI done right. They have a very simple and colorful user interface that's both attractive and easy to use. So you've got your main sections on the left hand side, video, audio, photo, data, extras and user guides. Now this is something anyone can work with and uh, it's not going to be a problem whether you're advanced or not. And on the right hand side you have some of the options that you can do or some of the programs available to manage that type of media. So we're going to go through this step by step. Since this is a media creation utility, I'm going to start with a source footage. So you can either capture your footage from your cameras or start with a video recording or you can just start with a computer screen recording. So let's get started. So as you can see we can record the desktop or any program. All we have to do is select the capture area. For the purposes of this test I'm just going to leave it at um, let's say 1024 by 768 but they've got all kinds of resolutions available. Ideally you'd want it to be in HD. Now um, the box is situated either outside or inside the recording zone. You can do it either way. And you can select your audio input devices. As you can see, it has recognized my microphone and it's recording audio off of that. And you can choose whether or not you want system audio as well in your recordings. So let's start with a very simple recording here. We're going to disable the system audio but keep the microphone audio on. And um, I'm just going to hit the record button. should be pretty easy. So F9 is going to pause it if you need to know the shortcut. As you can see, we're right now recording file critic. Um, all we're seeing here, that's all we're seeing here on the screen. But hey, you can record pretty much anything you want, your gameplay, any tutorials. And once you've done whatever you need to do, you can either hit the pause button and then you can resume recording and continue. Or if you're finished you can always hit the stop button and I believe that is going to save our footage. So once you have your media and step one is out of the way you have this wonderful video editor that you can use to edit your video. Now unlike the professional tools Adobe Premiere Pro this is not going to be very difficult to get started with. Usually professional tools have a very steep learning curve so if someone's new to it you're out of luck. It's going to take you months to actually be able to get good results out of it. But unlike that, this software is made for beginners. And uh, although it's not as detailed as some of the more professional options, it still gives you a lot of the basic features like, you know, your usual timeline. You've got your video and your audio over here and uh, basic clipping. You can do that. You can cut out unwanted sections. You can crop it. You can adjust some of the visual properties. And you can also add your transitions onto whatever clip you're using. And they've got a lot of uh, clips over here and a lot of variety. So that is pretty good. You can add your own text on the screen. And um, you can drag it into your timeline. And then uh, you can obviously edit in the text and show whatever you want. Then there are also some basic filters to make your videos look more professional. You can use the default transitions and you can have an okay video in no time at all. So it makes video editing really simple. Once you're ready with the video and you're satisfied with the results, you can export it over here. And here you can select the production settings whatever resolution you want and what audio you want. And once you're done with that and you select the quality, it gives you an estimated file size as well so that you know what you're going to get. That's very useful. 
you can just hit start and it's going to render the entire video into the selected or target directory. Now, apart from creating and editing videos, you can also convert any video into any other format using this program. So once again, it has a very simple and easy to use user interface. You can add any video or audio file here, and then you can convert to anything you want pretty much. They've got some templates, but you don't really have to use these. I believe you can customize your own templates and select your own output parameters and uh, you're good to go. But they have so many templates, you'll find one that meets your needs most likely. Apart from that, you can split video and they also have a video viewing program. And uh, the user interface is very clean once again. I wouldn't use it primarily as my main video viewing program. Of course, there are better programs for this, but it's something nice to have in a suite like this. And now you have pretty much the same options with audio. You can record your own audio. You can convert audio files into different formats. You can burn audio to a disc, or you can just play and play music. It has a lot of options for photos as well. You can convert images into different formats, which is pretty nice. And it all uses the same user interface. So it's not very confusing, pretty straightforward. Almost anyone can use it. You can also create your own slideshows. Once you're ready with your data, you can either burn it to disk, you can burn an image to disk, you can copy disks, the Nero stuff, it has some of that here as well. And this is your disk burning interface. Once again, very neat and organized. You just pick your files over here. It starts with this pop-up and uh, you have this nice indicator at the bottom to know how much more space you have left on your drive. Then you have some extras. You can get stock video footage from their website. You can share your videos online and try out their other programs. It even comes with user guides to help beginners get on their way. I can definitely recommend this program to anyone who is getting into production and is not a professional yet. If you're just starting out, this is just the perfect program to start. It is very simple, neat, easy to use, elegant, does what it's supposed to do, not cluttered, not confusing, a very good way to start getting into video production. So I hope you enjoyed this video, like this video if you did, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. And don't forget to check out the written review at www.fallcritic.com. This is your host, Leo, as always, signing out. See you in the next one.